Oh, hi. Uh, excuse me. Ah. If only that was real Jack Daniels. So if that wasn't real Jack Daniels, what am I doing drinking something that's not Jack Daniels from a Jack Daniels glass? Well, the answer is, well, I'll get to the answer in just a minute. First of all, bit of housekeeping. I've not put a video up in a couple of months. Well, it's been the summer. Give me a break. I've been having a good time. I've been on holiday. I've been back from holiday. I've been doing other things. I've been recording. I've been writing loads of ideas on my phone for videos. And it actually got to the point where I had too many ideas that I thought, what one day I do next? Now, I've been dying to do something to do with music, been keen to do more of a segment on video, but yeah, the, the photo ideas kept coming to me. Aside from playing lots of PlayStation VR and streaming PC games live constantly at you, and sorry if anyone's watched that and thought, why did I subscribe to this when he's suddenly playing games all day? I'm going to try and get more actual content, sorry, don't worry, this is where it all begins again. So I'm sitting there and the one idea that just stuck out to me one night was, I was sitting with a drink in my hand and I had my phone, playing around, getting some photographs, getting some videos of it in this sort of dark, dark living room. It was really, you know, maybe the TV light was on, that was about all I had. I suddenly realised there's a way to combine the two, the drink and the phone, in an interesting way, to get an interesting picture or a video. So this can work with a glass. So you can take any glass, any small enough glass that's about this size, or a bottle. Let's look at some Corona. Okay, so lovely, tasty, cold Corona. Now, I can't drink, it's during the day. I need to drive home, unfortunately. We're gonna use some iced tea for this. So that's just to get the impression when I pour this in that you're actually looking at some Jack Daniels or Jack Daniels and Coke. Maybe stick a bit of lemonade in there just to give it a bit of fizz. This is quite ideal for pubs, clubs, you know, uh, marketing on Facebook, anything like that. It's also just fun to muck around with at home. So, without further ado, a glass, some kind of drink, preferably alcoholic, your phone and make it all come together in glorious harmony. Let's do it. Okay, first things first, you wanna search white circle on Google. When you find that white circle, just make sure you save it to your camera roll, on your iPhone, your Android, whatever you do. Open that picture up, make sure when you zoom it in, it's black all around and the white circle fills the entire width of the screen. Get it just the right size for, you probably guessed it by now, putting your bottle on top, it sits right on top of the phone. So make sure you're at full brightness, full brightness to make it really work. So get your phone, lay it down somewhere nice and flat, table, chair, whatever. And without taking a single photo or a video yet, you can already tell this is pretty cool. You know, that's not a bad little trick. It's quite cool, isn't it? So, so get your angles right, get your exposure right and your camera. Just have some nice moody backlighting, nothing bright around with just a little bit of light in the background and then get some cool pictures. So here's a couple of test videos and pictures I took with the Corona bottle and you can see it in action. So next you want to do it with the glass. So you get the glass, you set the glass on the circle, change the size, whatever, just neatly around the base of the glass. And if you're using a real drink, you may have some ice in there, it might look better. The ice will look a lot better. I didn't have any ice around here to use, unfortunately. So use your imagination for now. So when your glass is on there and you've got the angle just right and your background is all lit nicely, just start snapping away. Okay, let's take it one step further. One step further, let's search for white. Just white, get a white image on your phone or even your iPad for this one and create a huge beam of light just right from underneath the whole glass of the bottle. So basically if you use an iPad, you could even get like two or three drinks on there. This will look really good for a promo shot for a bar or whatever. You could have several glasses, cocktails, bottles all lined up. This will look great for promo. You can use this on websites, Facebook, all that stuff. So with that bigger glow coming from the bottom, let's see what that looks like. More B-roll, please. If you 
watched one of my earlier videos, you'll also know about those little cheap lights, the tiny little lights that you get from pound shops. They just have a few LEDs in them. You can use those underneath the drink as well. Just sit on top of one of them. That also works. Cool. Thank you very much for watching another photography video. I will drink this first. Cheers. I'll have a real one later. Again, simple, fun, quick video. You can have fun with your imagination. Let it go wild. Try other ideas. Let me know in the comments. Let me know. Email me, message me. If there's anything you can think of that you might want to have me try and, you know, play out and experiment with to show off, then the more I can steal from you, the better. I don't have to work as hard. So for now, happy photoing, happy videoing, happy, happy drinking, happy drinking, and uh, see you later. Cheers.